So here we have the whole layout. I'm using a 3S LiPo battery, 11.1 volt. Got the hex slide, the stock speed controller, and the EC that uh, powers the receiver. So you don't have to cut anything, you just leave it as is. Over here you got the Jeffries s back. As you can see, I added a uh, switch, so I can switch between 9 volt and 12 volt if I want. Over here we got the two fronts, hopping servos, super pumps, the wide harness, they're all labeled servo 2, BEC and servo. Well, it's pretty much self-explanatory. BEC goes to the BEC sockets, servo 1 goes in here, servo 2 goes in there. Well, what you notice right away is that one of the servos will rotate in reverse. So what we need to do, we need to program this servo using the USB programmer from AGFRC and set it to reverse. Okay, so I've got my uh, server plugged in and the only thing you need to do right now is click on Eversion and right, that's it. And let's check out what it does right now. I've set this servo to inversion, in other words, reverse. We'll plug it back in. I'm going to try to align the servo horns like this, as you can see, they're both nice and one straight line and now they rotate in the correct direction. Well that's pretty much it, it's super easy, the nice thing is that you free up one channel, so you have one channel to operate lights or sound or whatever, so uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so if you want to set the endpoints of the servos, it's very easy, you press menu, you press navigate, you go to setup. Then you go to endpoints and then you scroll down. I have my servo set on channel 6. So now you can uh, set the endpoints by pushing the navigating button like this. You can see the move up or down. So now you go up. And a good starting point is 50%. And with the super pumps, the, depending on what kind of servo horn you use. You... So let's see the difference between the 9 volts. Now switch it to 12. You can see they're much, much faster. Switch back. Okay, one thing to mention is that these servos, pretty much all 8.4 volt servos, are not made to use with a 12 volt or in this case an 11.1 volt battery. You will notice they will run hot. Of course, there's more wear and tear on the gears and motors as well, so it's at your own risk and uh, you will avoid the warranty as well. But it can be done. Uh, Christian Adanas from Hawaii, he showed us a way. He did this uh, trick um, years ago and he uh, put 12 volt on his super pump and he's still hopping like crazy with his super hopper. So it can be done, but it's definitely something for the expert user. So make sure you set the endpoints correctly and uh, then you can have a lot of fun. Thank you for watching.